ESG criteria refer to environmental, social, and governance factors that are used to evaluate the sustainability and ethical impact of a company's operation. The use of ESG criteria has become increasingly important in recent years, as investors and stakeholders look for ways to support companies that prioritize sustainability and ethical business practice. Many institutional investors now require companies to report on their ESG performance and some have even made it a requirement for inclusion in their portfolios. Environmental criteria focus on topics such as nature, carbon neutrality, waste, pollution and animal treatment. GG reporting and sustainability reporting are now at the top of the list that investors acknowledge. Companies that prioritize sustainability and work to minimize their impact on the environment are often viewed more favorable by investors and customers. In recent years, climate change has become a particularly pressing concern and investors are increasingly interested in companies that are working to address this issue. The environmental criteria are expected to support the development of the sustainable development goals related to clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, industry, innovation and infrastructure, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water and life on land. Social criteria may include with whom businesses have relationships, whether they are sustainable vendors or if they help build up the community with their resources. This also includes human rights of employees, communities, and others in the supply chain. Social criteria are highly interlinked with sustainable development goals related to no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, decent work and economic growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, reducing qualities, responsible consumption and production, as well as peace, justice and strong institutions. Governance criteria include keeping first party accounting records, avoiding conflicts of interest between board members, and that stakeholders are able to vote on important matters. Other concerns would be management structure, employee relations and retention, and compensation of wages. Governance criteria are highly interlinked with sustainable development goals related to gender equality, decent work and economic growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, peace, justice and strong institutions, as well as partnerships for the goals. ESG reporting requires analyzing specific data, so ESG rating and ESG scores have been created. They are useful for investors and executives so they can calculate ESG performance and risk management. Providers use different measures to give ratings, so scores can be calculated differently. No matter the provider, the tangible data gives a realistic view of the performance and what outcomes should look like. ESG risk rating is an example of how well manageable and unmanageable ESG risk could be measured. ESG rating of a company can be on scale from 0 to 100 or from A to F, and where a higher score indicates a better performance in terms of ESG, and a lower score indicates a low performance. These scores are then used by investors to make investment decisions and assess a company's sustainability and responsibility. There are two ways to calculate the ESG score. The first one is a quantitative approach, where numerical data is collected and analyzed to assign a score or rating to a company. The quantitative approach involves using data-driven methods and tools to analyze and evaluate the company's ESG performance. The second one is a qualitative approach, based on data obtained through questionnaires, interviews, external sources, etc. The results may be more subjective, but this approach can capture aspects of a company's performance that may not be captured by quantitative data alone. Standardized ESG metrics are specific indicators used to evaluate a company's performance. 
For environmental metrics, I use metrics such as carbon emissions, energy use, and waste management practices. For social metrics, I use metrics such as labor practices, supply chain management, and human trade policies. For governance metrics, I use metrics such as board diversity, executive compensation, and anti-corruption policies.